Hello and welcome to HD Calcs. I'm Rick and in this video we're going to have a look at how we can convert between degrees and radians on the Texas Instruments TI-30X2S calculator. To do this we'll use the second key that looks like this located here, the DRG key that looks like this located here, the Pi key that looks like this located here, the degrees minute seconds key that looks like this located here, and the probability key that looks like this located here. This calculator lets us convert degrees to radians and radians to degrees if we're given one or the other, but there are a few steps to go through to do this. For example, if we're given 45 degrees and want that in radians, first thing we have to do is set our calculator to the mode we want our results in. So since we have 45 degrees and want our result in radians, we need our calculator set to radians. To do this, we press the DRG key, which will bring us to this menu here. We want RAD or RAD, so we can scroll over and press the Enter key. You should now see an RAD at the bottom of your screen here, letting you know you're in radian mode. Next, we enter our degrees. So for us, that was 45. And now we want to tell our calculator these are degrees. To do that, we press the degree key, which brings us to this menu here. And the first option here is degrees. So we hit enter. Now we have 45 degrees on our screen. If we press enter again, we see we get a result in radians in decimals. So that's 0 0.7853, etc. But what if we want it in this format? Well, to do that, first what we have to do is divide our result by pi. So we go divide, pi, press equals, and we see this gives us 0 0.25, which we should know is 1 over 4, but if we don't know that off the top of our head, we can use the conversion key, which is the second function of the probability key. So we press second, PRB, there we have answer, fractions to decimals, conversion, press enter, and we see that 0 0.25 has converted to 1 over 4, which is the same as pi over 4 in this context. Another example, let's say we're given 180 degrees. So since we're in radians mode already, all we have to do is enter our 180, Tell our calculator these are degrees with the degree key. Select the degree option there. And since we're in radians, just press enter again. And we see this gives us our decimal again, which is 3.14, etc., which should be familiar. But if it's not, we can just divide it by pi and see we get a result of 1. So 180 degrees is the same as pi radians. What if we want to take it the other way? Let's say we are given radians and want to get this into degrees. For example, if we had pi over 4, well, first thing we want to do, again, is tell our calculator what we want our results in. So for this time, we want to get this in degrees. So we go DRG key. Scroll over to the DEG for degrees, press enter, and we should now see a DEG at the bottom of our screen, letting us know we're in degrees mode. Now we can do our pi over 4, and for this kind of example, I like to use brackets. So we'll go bracket pi divided by 4, and close our bracket. There we go. Now we need to tell our calculator this is a radian. So we do the degree key, and then scroll all the way over to this R here, which is for radians, press enter. 
Now we have pi over 4 radians. Press enter and we get a result of 45 degrees, which is correct. Our other example, pi, well, we enter our pi on the screen, since we're already in degrees mode, hit the degree key, and tell our calculator we're using radians here, and press enter again, and we see this converts to 180 degrees, which is correct. All right, I hope this helps, and good luck on those tests out there, everybody.